carry your cell phone safely in the style of the American West with a holster you make yourself. This program shows how to use the available pattern to select and cut the proper leather. It has suggestions for tooling and finishing and assembly techniques. I have selected a piece of four to five ounce vegetable tan leather. So now I will dampen it with water as you can see. I have made a tracing on to tracing film from our available pattern and uh, now I have allowed my leather to dry until it begins to return to its natural color and now I can trace my pattern now to trace the outer edge because this is important when we do our assembly. At this time, in addition to tracing the outline, if I would like to do the floral design that's available, I can also trace that design onto the leather at this time. At this time, it's also important to mark for the stitching holes and the holes for the hardware. We will do this also on the strap piece, which I have made a template for that. Next, I will carefully cut out the piece uh, notice I'm using a craft knife or a stencil knife. This I find this easier to use when we are cutting curves. After I have cut my parts, I will now punch the holes as indicated on the pattern, mainly for in this case, I'm going to use snaps, so I will punch the 1 8 inch hole for the snaps. And for the stitching holes, I'm going to use the stitching punch. I will do that on both the holster part and the strap. And the holes for the snaps. And now we're ready to do our tooling.
after we have applied our finish, it's now time to uh, finish the edges, and I'll do that first with a a uh, a small edge beveler. I'll bevel around the front and the back of the top, as you can see. And I will also edge bevel around all of the edges of the piece that forms the belt loop and holds the snap. Next, I will dampen these edges with water. And I will give it a few moments to soak in. And then with the wooden edge slicker, I will slick this edge until it's nice and smooth and shiny. I will do the same thing to the edges of the hold down strap. At this time, I will apply edge dressing to the top, as you can see, doing it very carefully. I will also apply this to the edge of my hold down strap, as you can see. Next, I will uh, attach a line 20 durable snap, and uh, I will first put it, the male part on the case, as you can see. Notice I've also put one over here, one here and one here. Next, I will attach the cap and the female part to the hold down strap. I will put it through, as you can see, I will sit it in uh, the anvil, put the receiver on top, and then with my setter, I will rotate the tool and knock it down until I cannot turn it. Now we will do the same thing to the other end of the hold down strap. And now with the two needle method of saddle stitching, we will stitch the belt loop and hold down strap in place as you can see. Next, I will use uh, my skiving knife and skive about a quarter of an inch off of the outer edge as you can see. And we'll do this on the front and the back. Next, I will apply water-based contact cement along the edge. About uh, an eighth of an inch or maybe a little bit more. And I do this in the area where we skived. And we'll make sure that we get the front and the back. And then we will sit this aside for a few minutes to allow the cement to dry until it's tacky. After we have allowed the cement to dry until it's tacky, then we can very carefully match up the edges and cement the two edges together. Not a bad idea to take a, a mallet and tap this down. Next, I will prepare to stitch the edge 
first thing I'll do is with my wing divider, I will scribe a line, one eighth or a little wider from the edge. And then with a stitching chisel, I will punch completely through the front to the back. And I will do this all the way down to the tip. When I punch down to the curve, I will switch to the two-prong chisel and go around the curve. And now we will stitch all the way down the edge using the two needle saddle stitching method. After I have finished my stitching, I will take a, again a small size edge bevel and I will bevel the top and the bottom of this edge. And then I will take some fine sandpaper and I will sand this edge to make it smoother and also to remove any of the cement that is squeezed out over the edge. And then I will dampen and slick this edge. And then I will apply edge dressing to this edge. And our cell phone holster is all ready to use. <laughs>